first of all, this is an HD DVD uh, transformed into a Blu-ray. The HD DVD, DVD file format is uh, obsolete now, but I have some uh, discs with HD DVD and I would like to make them Blu-ray. So I could play them in my Blu-ray player. At the same time, they lose the encryption. And uh, just for fun, I put it in the Mac to see if Mac would play uh, the unencrypted Blu-ray, uh, which are placed on a UDF 2.50 file system. And that is very important that uh, you stick to that file system, otherwise it will not work. So this is the UDF uh, 2.5 file system which Mac uh, formerly did not recognize, but uh, it recognizes uh, the disk now, I can see. And then I open the new VLC media player and we can try to uh, drag the whole disk to the top of the media player to see if it will play and it will not play. Then we open the folders and we find the exact film which is here on the M2TS and I drag this into the VLC media player We can uh, proceed a little inside the film. Now, of course, it is recording at the same time as it is playing this. So, you, uh, if it was not recording, it would play very, very smooth. I can assure you of that. I have tried to play it on my little white MacBook with uh, uh, motherboard graphics and it plays like a dream on the little MacBook. It plays like on the best uh, Blu-ray player. It's very, very good and it's also very, very good on this one. Well, now you can see that it uh, plays and maybe uh, you uh, want to assure you that it is the, the real file and you can see it's the uh, M2GS file that plays. So, now the Mac at last is able to play the M2TS files thanks to VLC Media Player and we must give them so much greeting as we can it's the only player that can do this and now we await the next Mac file system the Snow Leopard and uh, we hope that uh, uh, the problem of playing encrypted uh, Blu-ray discs that we buy in our stores that it will come to life and that we can do it with the new snow leopard I hope so it looks like they are pointing in the right direction now thank you for watching